We should set course for Contraxia. Lay bare our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the tracker's still counting down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Hella knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? It means solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying our fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacor has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacor if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacor officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. Quill really cared about this team. He wouldn't get turned around as soon as an ex-girlfriend walks into the room. I am Groot. I am not. We almost got killed back there. I almost got killed trying to get this ship back. Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Come on, Rocket. What? You gonna tell me I'm a valued member of your crew again? Leave us alone, Quill. Do you ever ponder how different your lives would have been had you joined the Nova Corps? You asking me or Peter? Both. I don't think either of us would have fared very well. You are not fond of peacekeeping. And Peter's not fond of helmets. It messes with his hair. Assassin. You believe the events unfolding aboard the Rock qualify as a mutiny, correct? Look pretty obvious to me. Even if the officers who rebelled were under the influence of a mysterious force? Doesn't really change that they rejected Nova Corps orders and started killing their shipmates. I find it repulsive. I need to clear my mind. This book is not helping. If you need a recommendation, I just finished the World Mind's postmortem on ineffective planetary scale battle tactics of the Galactic War. 
What part of this would help clear my mind? Son, it's very upsetting to read. Can't believe Quill's such a bootlicker. What's with his obsession with bending over for Novacor? I am Groot. Respect them? Please. All the blue flacknards know how to do is arrest people trying to make a living and slap them with scut bug and fines. I am Groot. Nope. It's so those coordinates. They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere here we come. Nowhere. Last spaceport on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wondered what kind of person found it was like, oh look! The severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. The marketplace came after. Along with the noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals in Novacore all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Yes, you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. If I were Rocket, where would I be? You are not. He is much shorter and covered in fur. I mean, hypothetically. Then you would have lived a completely different life, and your location would be irrelevant. Thanks, Drax. Welcome. How do we keep ending up here for work? Some downtime. What is it you are so eager to do? Drink, gamble, throw myself into a party of friends, I don't care. <laughs> to the charm of the place. Have you had dealings with this Cosmo murderess? We've circled back to that name, have we? That was a great vacation. What about Rocket and Root? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? 
apology does not need to be sincere. I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. Okay. We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's got to be someone shady enough in the market who can help. Maybe. But Cosmo deals with Novacore all the time. Maybe we can pay the fine through him. Didn't think I'd miss nowhere this much. The attachment we feel to certain places and people are sometimes unexplainable. That's surprisingly profound, Drax. So you come in. Haven't seen an M class in a while. Not since Yondu went down on me. I suspect the rodent and his tree companion will be drinking somewhere. Where do you get the units to report anything? I do not expect him to pay his tab. Welcome to nowhere. How do we find this costume? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Hey there. I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? It's straight through the market. You can't miss it. Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. He met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right. Heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Maybe Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. We might even come out ahead on this. Keep an eye on your things. These cooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. I've encountered them on several planets. Not sure why. Strange that's one of the things most galactic cultures share. That and walking on two legs. I always imagined aliens would be more alien. They say to know the future is to know madness. Do you mind? I had my fortune told You're at the fair once. She said my future would be a roller coaster ride. I'm doing great. Anywhere else. Places like this were everywhere during the war. Some desperate for answers, others just doing what they could to make a few units. Soothsayers on Katak are unable to predict his demise. Ah, I recognize him. A friend of Yondu, is that correct? Storeboard, wasn't it? Has my legs cleared up that problem of yours? Uh, <laughs> what? I've never needed any elixir. version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? 
What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi, I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh. Oh. No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. By the Kodati he wrote, the broken promise of all will be mended. Less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah. Uh, Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. You're gonna keep making mad face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy? Green me? Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. I'm not going to ask, but if you wanted to talk about it... <sighs> we met after I escaped from a failed job. I, I was in bad shape. I'd probably be dead if Mantis hadn't found me. She saved your life. Yep. End of story. That is not the end of the story. I know, big guy. Let's just not push it right now. Don't you start eyeballing me. Don't overthink it, Drax. Mantis gets in everyone's head. Let's get you a drink. I am not thirsty. Neither am I. It's a wonder this head hasn't collapsed in on itself yet. What was his problem? What did Mantis say to you? Nothing of consequence. Your face tells a different... Uh. Hey, dude! Hi, Groot. Rocket, you can't... Just ignore me. We gotta talk about this. I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. Who's that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! You believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone.
some crazy things, but ghosts? I doubt it. My friends, they... Sorry to hear that, Captain. Can't really help you there, but I can offer you a bit of destruction.
that smell? Maybe a gaudy bauble will make me feel better. Might as well get something to commemorate the time my team ditched me. That's actually pretty cool. And buying it made me feel better. Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out way. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there. Star Lord in Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose. <laughs> 